Hello everyone, it's Mangastan here. So today we're going to talk about chapter 828 of, or 829 of One Piece. So basically a really good chapter in my opinion. We got to see a lot, I think this was a comedy chapter, this was a silly chapter. We got to see more Big Mama. Basically Big Mama was wrecking havoc, destroying everything, just causing a mess. Uh, besides that, before that happened, we kind of got a little tidbit on how uh, some islands were spouting grape juice and they would flow into the ocean, and so that's why the ocean was colorful. That's one, that's one little cool, cool thing I thought. I would love to live there. But then we got into the Big Mama part, and she was kind of wrecking havoc, havoc kind of like a Godzilla or um, like a giant ape on the uh, on the, her tower, where she was like just eating everything. And it's kind of funny because it's a chocolate world, so like everything's getting eaten, and like they're like, oh, this is such a great disaster, it's a travesty. And it's kind of so funny because you know everything's made of chocolate, so you know everything can be eaten. So it's kind of like this, yeah, everything's being destroyed, but it's 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 kind of meant to be eaten in our sense at least. In their sense, they're like, whoa, everything's being destroyed. It got a twist of darkness though. It got a twist of darkness when she ate her own son. So I was like, whoa. And then that we had to talk about Big Mama's abilities. I believe Big Mama has the ability to candify someone's soul. That's not at least what it looks like. It looked like that she took something out of him and it looked very stretchy and gummy. So I believe that it's um, maybe candifying someone's soul, which would be a very interesting ability and it would fit with her eating ability, how she eats eats people and she eats things. So her own family. I thought she was like very prideful of her family and would never do something like that. So this just shows her character when she gets into a candy fit. She doesn't remember anything. She goes bonkers crazy. It was very funny. Even while he was being eaten, I was like, this was hilarious. But then it was kind of just that hint of, like, dark humor. Everyone was over-exaggerating the scenario. Obviously not. It was a bit over-exaggerated. Even though some some people died, like that her son died, it was a bit over-exaggerated at some moments. And then at the end, of course, we have Janambi saving the day, or Jim Bay saving the day. And he wants to tell Big Mama something. Obviously, probably to leave the crew. And then we'll have Luffy coming in, all this coming in. So this is like probably when Jombi, Jinbei will join the crew. So this is very exciting. Um, so yeah, just just Big Mama eating her own son. It was kind of like, it didn't feel as dramatic as it was, but that's, that's like dark shit right there. It was kind of like going for a comedy thing, a comedy, a big ape Empire City type feel with Big Mama. So she, I can't really take her seriously now because that just looks hilarious. I don't really see her as a huge threat as I did before because now I see her, yeah, she's out of control. Yeah, she has this eating disorder. Yeah, when she, when she's in a, um, a candy fit, she needs to be fit in this candy or else she, probably was pronounced, pronounced a really weird name, but it's basically kind of like talking cloud balls and she just loves them to death and that's what puts her out of her candy rage. But just hilarious. How without that she was just going on a rampage out of control and she's very powerful, but I just don't see her on the level as Kudo. I probably think she's the one of the weakest Yonko. I think she is the weakest Yonko. I'm just gonna say that right now. She's the weakest Yonko. I don't believe that any other um Yonko would be that weak. Or well she is strong, don't get me wrong. She's very strong. She's she's rightfully to be a Yonko. But I think she's the weakest Yonko. But that's obviously why Luffy's probably facing her first, because she's the weakest. And I just don't see the yellow Yonko being at that level. Being at that level, because she can't even control herself. Like, she doesn't... Her, it, She just drives on instincts alone, and she just eats everything in sight. She eats her own kid. I don't really see that as very beneficial when she's eating her own military might. And so I think that's a, quite a downside to her to her power and her, her strength. So I don't think she could compare it to the other Yonkos in power when she's doing things like this. And that's kind of my opinions on Big Mama. Very dark person. I kind of loved her. This was a lot of development on Big Mama. A, like, a good, finally a solid reveal on who she is as a person. And I, I loved it. It was very funny. It was very funny. I loved Big Mama, even though she ate her son. It was hilarious. He's dead. Whatever. <laughs> so, that's kind of my quick review. Had to get up at 5am to do this, so I hope anyone enjoys it. And have a wonderful day, people.